to another edition of Did You Know? So today, uh, Emma Fillion, who talked to you about the settlement on Long Point, is back to talk to you about SEALs. So uh, with the SEALs behind me, uh, I will let Emma take it away. Hi, my name is Emma Fillion, and today I'm going to be talking a bit about SEALs on Cape Cod. And did you know that SEALs have been on record for being on the Cape for over 4,000 years? We have two common species of seals that you are most likely to find in the waters around the Cape, the gray seal and the harbor seal. Archaeological evidence of Native American middens, or trash dumps, demonstrates that both seal species were present in Cape waters thousands of years ago. Beginning in the late 1880s, however, a bounty system was placed on them, particularly gray seals, which led to a near extirpation in New England waters for decades. The slow return of seals to Cape Cod began after the Marine Mammal Protection Act of 1972, which made killing any marine mammal, including seals, illegal. With this protection, seal populations began to slowly increase around the Cape, beginning in the late 1980s, and gray seals are now the most common seal species seen. These seals are not Cape Cod seals specifically, but part of a larger Northwest Atlantic population that ranges from the Canadian Maritimes to as far south as Virginia. Gray seals are the most numerous and largest species of seal on the Cape. They are typically seen during the late spring, summer, and fall in the waters and hauled out on the beaches on the Cape. Adults can weigh anywhere from 500 to 800 pounds for some large males. They breed during the winter months on sandy islands near the Cape and in Canada. Harbor seals are much smaller than gray seals, ranging from 100 to 300 pounds. They are more common in the fall, winter, and spring months and prefer rocky habitat, but may sometimes be seen on beaches. They breed in May and June on rocky islands in New Hampshire, Maine, and in Canada. In regards to the diets of seals, recent studies suggest that gray seals prey primarily on sandlands, hakes, flatfish, and squid. Did you also know that besides gray seals and harbor seals, we also have two other types of ice seals that come to the cave? The harp seal is a relatively common winter visitor. The seals which haul out on the beaches to rest are juveniles and come from populations in the Gulf of St. Lawrence. The rarer hooded seal, a seal named for the red sack that males inflate during mating, are sometimes also seen. Both these species are always seen alone, are almost always juveniles, and are most likely seen during the winter months. The return of the seals to the Cape suggests that the waters are rich and have enough resources to be able to support a healthy ecosystem. Their return has also prompted some research to suggest that they play a role in returning nitrogen to the shore from further out to sea via their excrement. Seals are not hard to find on Cape and can often be seen offshore at any beach. However, if you want to see a seal haul out, uh, we would recommend going to uh, Lighthouse Beach in Chatta, Coast Guard in East Sam, Provincetown Harbor, or right here at High Head Beach.